Hello possums, Drama Smith here, dreaming in a Minecraft world. And today I want to build a tree farm. I've got a need for substantial amounts of oak. Well, not substantial, but some. And a tree farm will definitely be better than going and clear felling the environment. So if we come over to my ender chest. Right, these first two rows, these are the things we absolutely need for the tree farm. The bottom row is extras for decoration. So we've got one hopper, two chests, 16 slabs of your choice, 20 trapdoors, four light sources, can be sea lanterns, can be glowstone, can be redstone lamps if you can rig it up. S 16 saplings, this will work for oak and birch. 40 blocks of your choice. I've got stairs just because I don't want to have to jump up. Five buckets of water. So let's get out the things we need and we can come back for the not so important things later. So I've marked out here a square that is nine blocks by nine blocks. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can dig down in which case you dig a trench along this nine perimeter or you can build up. I'm going to build up. So I'm laying down my blocks just outside the perimeter. So that's our perimeter done. I'm just placing a spruce log in each corner because I want to keep this consistent with my other farms. Right, next is to place the blocks where we want our trees. So there are 16 blocks in all, you'll have 16 trees. So this is where our external perimeter is. So you put one in from there, and one in, so you're going in diagonally one from each corner. And now you just place a dirt block on every alternate block. There we are, 16 blocks. I'm just going to pull up those torches. Right. Now the next thing is to work out where you want your collection point. I want mine over here. So I've got to bear that in mind. I go to the middle, I dig a hole. And now off each side, I dig out a block. So I end up with a cross shape like that. Now I go down and into the center again, I dig out a block. In the direction that we want the collection. I dig out another and we're going to dig a trench in this direction going eight blocks to start with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just double check that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And now I dig out two more, that's for our chest, and for these last three I go down one more block. So we end up with a formation like that. Next we need our chest and our hopper, so two chests down to form a double chest, shift click, hopper into back. And now this is going to seem a little weird. We grab our dirt again and we backfill this trench so that it is only one block high down there. Right, next we're going to put in our light sources. So from the centre we dig out one extra on each arm. So we're extending the lines of our cross. And then where you dug out the dirt, you put in your light source. 
Now with this one, which is the one going down where our trench is, we're going to put in one extra block of dirt. So we end up with a T, an upside down T shape instead of a cross shape. This is actually important because it stops later on a source block forming here and interrupting our water flow. And speaking of water, we're going to put one bucket of water in the very center. Now if we come over here and have a look, yeah, see it's just flowing over the hopper. That's what we want. And now with our remaining buckets, we put one in each corner. Once you've got all your buckets placed, this is what you should end up with. Everything flowing down into the centre. If you have a water source that's formed here that's still, check that you've put this piece of dirt in. So I'm now going to chuck a piece of dirt into the corner and we're going to watch it flow down. There it goes. Now we're going to race around here and we should see it come out. There it goes. And into our chest. It's a bit like playing poo sticks, isn't it? Right, that is the basis of the farm. The next thing we have to do is put a roof on it because otherwise there's nothing to stop our oak trees growing into giant oak trees, which would be a real pain to harvest. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can do this. Probably the easiest is to nerd pole up. So we need the roof to be nine blocks above this level where we're going to plant our saplings. So above the level where I'm standing. So I'm going to nerd pole up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where we want our roof to be. I'm going to crouch out and place. And now I'm going to place a slab on the bottom. Now I can just go around and place a slab directly above each of those blocks and that would be enough so you could get away with 16 slabs but I'm going to do something a little different to that okay I am now going to crouch and place slabs in a ring right the way round so that, is that above our 16th? Uh, one, two, three, so yes, yes, no, okay, yes. All right, so that isn't, that is, isn't, is, isn't, is. So I'm just going to run that all the way around. Now that takes care of all our blocks that are on the outside. To do the ones on the inside, I'm just going to place them on alternating rows. So we end up with this little pattern which has got nine holes in it and I should be right to drop down because that's water. Here goes nothing. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, I'll just get rid of our nerd pole. That's the tree farm almost finished. Next is to plant our saplings on each of the dirt blocks. There we go. Now you could just go with this for the tree farm. 
I actually like to add trapdoors because it makes harvesting that little bit easier. So I've got the tree selected and I'm going to put the trapdoor against the tree. I'm doing that all the way along. So you just make sure you've got the tree's hitbox selected and then you can just place your trapdoor. I have found if you don't have trapdoors it's very easy to get caught up in the flow of the water because if the leaves are low you can't really jump from one block to another. So in theory that's the tree farm completely finished. You could leave it like this. I like to have a little bit of support structure so that it looks like that's actually being held up by something instead of just floating in the sky. But the choice would be entirely up to you. Now my support structure is quite simple. I put I put seven fences going up on top of the log. I've got to come down one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On top of that, I put a redstone lamp. Oh, I've got to go up again. And a night sensor, and I'll set it to night. And round the outside of the roof, I'm putting a row of fence. So I'll do that for the other three corners, and I'll get back to you. Well, that's our four pillars done and the roof surrounded by fence. So the next thing is to surround the fence with stairs. Oh, I always have trouble with this, don't I? And the fence joins on to the stairs, so it gives the illusion of, ow, the whole thing being held up. Ow! Right, not one to be defeated. Yes, that was a little dangerous. Okay, so you surround... Can I get that on? Yep. So you surround the entire fence with stairs. And when you've done that, you do the next level down also with stairs. But this one has got the light sensor at the corner. This one will have mitered stairs at the corner, like that. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll see how it looks when, it fi when it's finished. There it is all done. That's our tree farm. You can see why you put the roof on before you put the saplings in because it's already growing quite well. I'll just clear some of this away. I put some steps down to where our chest was. But um, that's it. All done and dusted. I'm not sure if I'm happy with how close it is to this module. I may yet take it down and move it back one. But that's a quite a compact little tree farm. I know it's very tall, but it doesn't take up much space in terms of footprint. It's certainly easy to make. And no, that's all growing quite nicely. I'm happy with that. And as I said, it'll work for birch as well. It won't work for spruce, jungle or dark oak. But I think that's to be expected, isn't it? Oh, I had to wait a while and I had to actually put bone meal on a couple of these. But the trees are all fully grown. Now being oak, I've got some where branches have popped out. Go away. Harvesting is pretty straightforward. Just start at one end chop down the trees and because we put the height restriction on it we can actually reach every single block 
and when you're finished you flip up the trapdoor behind you because that then allows any saplings or apples to fall into the water. And when you get to the end of a row, just work your way back down. Now, unless you're vigilant, it's not 100% lossless. As you can see, some things are dropping at the edge. So you can either hang around and pick up the extra bits that drop off the side or you can take your losses. Up to you how you want to run it. I have let it completely rot down. So we started out with 16 saplings. We have almost a stack and a half of wood. We've got 31 saplings and four apples. That's not bad. I'm gonna replant those. That's not a bad day's work. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you like my little tree farm. If you did, please hit the like. If you really liked it, subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell. Always happy to have you along. Thanks for the company. I will see you next time. Bye.